All right, there's one, two, three, and four, and five. The depletion of non-renewable -renew energy resources is a much talked about and common debate. There are many different solutions and each solution has its pros and cons. I am here today to talk to you about the extremely controversial issue that is hydraulic fracturing, or more commonly known as fracking. Running out of energy is a problem that affects almost every single person on this earth. The car that you use to drive here, the air conditioning that cools this room, and the cord that runs to this computer, all would be useless without some form of energy. And that form of energy that produces to these things I mentioned is more than likely non uh, from a non-renewable source. While there are still issues with hydraulic fracturing, it is the best way of obtaining non-renewable energy resources, in my opinion. Before we get into why I believe fracking is a viable solution, we must first understand what exactly fracking is. In its simplest definition, it's, fra it's the fracturing of rock by a pressurized liquid. Most fracking that is talked about now in the news and in public debates is fracturing rock shale in an effort to it, it obtain the shale gas that is inside of it. Behind me here is a diagram of a typical hydraulic fracturing well. It first is drilled down horizontally to a deep bedrock where it turns and then drills, it first starts vertically, excuse me, and then drills horizontally into the bedrock and it's then, then a, a liquid is, a high pressured liquid is sprayed into it that creeps into the rock, fractures it, and makes it so the shale gas can creep towards where the well is and escape and be collected. Now that you all have some background in, in info into what hydraulic fracturing is, let's look at the pros of fracking. One of the biggest advantage of it is it gives access to an enormous bedrock shale formations that are underneath the United States landmass. It could keep our energy domestic and make USA Energy completely independent, according to the Bridge Magazine. This would in turn make the United States less dependent on energy rich nations, which is, which is often the cause of some tensions. If done correctly, hydraulic fracturing is very safe. The energy created from natural gases is much better for the environment than the current norm, which is coal powered plants. And harmful carbon emissions have been falling since fracking has become mainstream, according to Dr. Scott A. Elias in his journal. That's important because the more that we do use the natural gases, like rock shale, to produce energy, the better for the environment and the less harmful carbon we're putting into our ozone layer. Also from a Dr. Elias entry is that more than a third of natural gas burned in the U.S is coming from fracking wells. And shale gas is now cheaper than coal, which is also another important point because if, if shale gas is cheaper than coal and also better for the environment, it's obviously a much better solution to use than what we're currently using. However, hydraulic fracturing is a rather new technology and far from perfect. Here are some commonly brought up disadvantages to fracking. A major one is that the liquid that is injected into the deep wells is a concoction of various toxic chemicals to help fracture the bedrock. Typically, these remain at the bottom of these very deep wells. However, accidents happen and miscalculations are made. There have been many instances of spilling this harmful chemical either at the surface or seeping into groundwater at the bottom of the well. According to a committee in the U.S. House of Representatives, six, 650 out of the two 2,500 chemicals that are used in this concoction are known carcinogens. Another disadvantage to fracking is the wasted water that comes with it. 
According to a report by Anthony Andrews, up to 5 million U.S. gallons of water can be used for each well. That could add up to be a huge number if fracking does catch on and becomes a common way to bring up natural gases. One last and major con of fracking is that earthquakes have been li linked, to the, linked to the fracking wells. A major earthquake that hit Youngstown, Ohio, has been linked to a nearby fracking well, which is stated in the Journal for Geophysical Research. This is obviously a major problem, as earthquakes can be devastating. But there are steps that can be taken to avoid such an event. Although these cons may seem devastating, there is much that can be done to mitigate them. There has been much debate in the government on whether or not to outlaw fracking altogether. I believe that instead of working to outlaw it altogether, they should be working on ways to make it safer and better for the environment. I also have... Another diagram that kind of gives that idea of just how deep fracking is done down in the ground and away from the surface and from the groundwater we drink from. The top here is the top of the land cover and where the well will begin. And it's 1.5 miles down before they go horizontal and start fracturing. The water table is usually up here, which is less than 500 yards from the top. So when it's done correctly, it's not very dangerous. And it sh should get to a point where it's impossible for it to seep into the groundwater. I also have a video to play. And this video shows just the process in a CGI form. The top was a typical fracking well. A bore will come down vertically to the depth, which is, as seen in the last diagram, about a mile and a half deep. And then it'll make a turn and turn horizontal into the bedrock. And this horizontal bore will keep going and keep going down into the bedrock and bring a concrete, concrete casing along with it. After they've gotten to the desired length that they want to do at the bottom, they'll begin fracturing it, and then they'll inject the chemical. And as you'll see here, the chemical comes up in these fractures at high velocity and cracks throughout the bedrock. And those cracks allow the gas to escape to the top of the well and be gathered. So as you can see, hydraulic fracturing is a very new and interesting technology that has, has a high potential to solve a major world problem. Hydraulic fracturing is far from perfect. If it is allowed to be practiced in this country, I believe, and hope you do now too, that it will be a solution to our energy crisis. Thank you. One, two, puppy. Three. <laughs> Sorry. Four. Five.